reveal your secrets. Reveal your secrets. All right, back at the grind. <clears throat> Time to learn how to uh, make potions, I think. Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Mmm, a gourd. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Akio. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh, man. Oh, 
pit. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to Herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my staff this little arrangement. Nifflers fancy, or roses? Imagine being able to pop into Hogsmeade for a butterbeer whenever you wanted. Augustus Hill just wants you to buy something, though. He's always... Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Oh, whoops. You can add fertilizer to this plant to increase the yield. Conjuring a dung composter. Oh, okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora. The Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hmm. Revelio. Hello. 
Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. What is this with some of the doors? I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But you'll lead. Some of the doors look like this now for some reason. All blurred out. I wonder if it's the ray tracing setting. Let's change it and see if it fixes it. <clears throat> oh, no. Hang on, let me... No, it's on medium. Same thing I had it on. Uh, went to full screen. Do less has quality. Upscale sharpness, maybe? Oh, okay. Try again. Uh, frame generation's off. V-Sync on. Without V-Sync on. Oof. Even with VRR, this thing is... Uh, let me turn V-Sync off. See if it fixes it. I've, I'm already getting screen tearing on the primary display. No, that didn't fix it. Oof. I have VRR on and still just terrible screen tearing. Uh, okay, V-Sync on. Uh, I didn't change anything. Maybe it's a motion blur thing? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, this went to... Huh. Oh, I guess if you... Hmm. This is weird. Let me turn off the LSS for a sec and, uh... See if that fix it, fixes it. Nope. Okay. You put the LSS back on. Quality. Huh. That's weird. All right, well. Just gonna have to be the way it is for now. I didn't have that issue yesterday, so it might just nice work uh, in defense. I just need to restart the, the computer. I don't know. Excuse um, me. Your jewel with Sebastian, and he's good. <laughs> he's I did not have that issue yesterday, and I've already. I was brilliant. testing the game in. Oh, um, well, huh. Thank you. Uh, b b b b I HDR earlier because it has a native myself. HDR. I mean, I would have if Hecate had And um, so I've already closed the game once today. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Hmm. Oh, hey. That's so funny. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the dino. I'm sorry. But they left her honking daffodils. Do? Garlic said she wanted you to have a go at tending the cabbages. Oh boy. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages. I think I broke it. <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. <laughs> Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Ooh, man, some of these dialogue options. 
I'm imagining it already. Hey, I'm Gryffindor. I'm not supposed to be thinking like that. Okay, hmm, I suppose they could come in handy. Kind of like a no-brainer. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> Whoops. Get everything I can out of here. Rebellion. I don't know how I feel about Revelio being on um, the left D-pad, honestly. Hmm. I guess there's no better place to put it. What does Square do? I don't think we've learned Square yet. But let's look in the binding. Or squ I say Square X. Interact. Oh, well. <clears throat> Duh. Duh. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Okay, so I can add a second spell set after I... Later on in the game, I think. Because right now it doesn't let me. But I can see on the bindings that it will. So that's good, because I was going to be a little bit annoyed that... um like, I can only have four spells, and every time I want to change one of those spells out, I have to do this. So. That's good. Lumos. Because I like to have Lumos on. It's fun to RP. I've but it's just not practical in combat most of the time. Okay, how many minutes left on my mandrake? Four minutes? It seems like it's been forever. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Yes, I am. I see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Just putting my Snuggie back on. Gotta have that. Gotta have my Snuggie. Nice and bundled up. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, hoi, ha, hu. <clears throat> All right, ready to game. Got my Snuggie on. It's my tortilla Snuggie. Everyone loves that. All right, let's see here. I don't want to be rude. Have so much to offer. I want to be I nice most of the time. Me. I'm glad. Honestly. Pathology is a bounteous subject. I try not to Take be too pretentious in my answers. Important to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. I need to learn how to make potions. Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. It only cost me my damned hearing. Make anything grow. We must first. Oh! It replants it? As well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as So it replants every time I grab it? I'm a confused. I'm a confused. Uh, potion that enhances the drinkers' def defense by covering them. Okay. I need to figure out how to make the um healing potions. I mean, I'm sure it's not that hard. I just got to figure it out. Probably just part of the main quest. Um, create a quest. Need that. And potion. Oh, that's the next quest. Is ten potion. So yeah, it was kind of already part of the whole deal. I'm a coming. Okay, 109 meters. That's not too bad. I got to get better about um, fast traveling instead of just running everywhere. Because that's, you know, that's like the whole point of the fast travel system. If I'm just running everywhere, then what am I doing with my life? Hey. Revelia. Man, I wish Revelia wasn't on the D-pad. I know I've said that already, but just like um kind of encumbering Off on another adventure, when we? you especially I mean you kinda have to use it pretty often, in my opinion, because you're constantly looking for secrets. It's like the um Revelio is like your Witcher sense, basically. Uh, 
like all these games have it now like Eloy has uh in um what is it horizon you know she's got the little sensor thing that shows her hidden things on the map and i mean every every game has them now oh okay here do i have any new gear i think this isn't as good oh no better Equip. Defense 13. See if I have a better scarf. I don't. That's just like a, uh, got nothing. Wizard hat. Let me put on my wizard hat. All right, I got on my wizard hat. Oh no. Oh wait, no, it's good. I thought the ear was clipping through, but it wasn't. Oh, oh, floating page. Accio ba. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. You got to use Accio, trust me. Never allow that. It would make him look like Accio Bon. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Is there Rebellion. anything in here that I need to look at at the moment? Lumos. I'm going to begin the quest. Let's see if it um keeps my Lumos on. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Protein well shake? potion. Sorry. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might Protein come shake? in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan well potion can be used to sterilize and, and then after I finish protein a shake, variety of injuries. It can heal zero sugar injuries, monster the best. But not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wooden well potion. Man, it's falling apart this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be Strong meticulous and even. when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. A pinch. Alright, here we go. Even motion. Actually, I don't think it matters if it's even on the controller. I know it said that it has to be, but... I feel like it wasn't very synced up, per se. I see most of you Everyone loves that sound, right? Mmm. Not an easy potion to brew. brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For yes, the moment, sir. you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain. And will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Should you chop the dipney or crush it? 
The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? A Weasley. You heard he correctly. Say, he wants me Weasley. to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We How could I forget? Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. Oh, I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I'm a good boy. I'm trying to be a good old boy on here. You won't. Not even kidding. Feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. All right. It's just a game. Let's get the feather. Very well. I'll bring you a food feather. Brilliant. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Look at my hat. I love my hat. Can you, you have my feather is what he's gonna say. I was hoping you could get me a Fupa feather from Sharp's office. It's the last ingredient I need to complete my potion. Okay. Um. My Wigan World potion is utter rubbish. Wish I could just play this one from Jay Pickens. I'm gonna go get it. I'm sorry. I just like to look around and. Talk. Ooh, I see Chestasis. Put me in here. Keep your potion station. Hit that. Hang on. I gotta hit this Chestasis first. Collect those. There's the feather. Man, I just stole it. I just stole it. A Weasley convinced me to steal that. <laughs> Memorandum. 31st of December, 1875. Uh, Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside the ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know about the shop's reputation, we are adding more aurora, or, or, I don't know, aurors, or, 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 I can't say it, can't even pronounce it, <laughs> to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Interesting. Activist mirrors indeed. Hmm. Here's the fourth feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. This is a sip of our potion. You should get back to brewing your endurance potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Hmm. Man, that's good. The uh, Fiesta. Ultra Fiesta Mango. So good. Best Ultra Monster, in my opinion. Proficiency in potions are two things Here we go. Time to make some healing potions. Ugh, I don't have any pork lump juice. Definitely gonna need some horkalum juice. Hmm. All right, let's make uh, this endurance potion.
Pick up. Man, they have a a crafting queue system. That's odd. Gonna get my ass. I'm gonna be honest with you. Wait, it's not supposed to. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna be grinding in this game. Lumos. What now, Mr. Weasley? Mm. Sorry, Professor. Prof That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley <sighs> did not do this on his own. His You're costing us points me as well. I brewed an Adorus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Threw me under the freaking bus over here. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that's right, because I'm a Gryffindor. I own up to my mistakes. Today, your own cauldron. I will say, you've done well. I confess, I was. Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Ronald Weasley. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. Um. Do, do, do. Man, I need to get some... Pork lump juice. Pork lump, pork lump, pork lump. Let's see if we can find what this is. Collections. Uh, potions. Pork lump. Okay. I'm guessing I have to go farm that in the world. I don't know. Oh, wait, here we go. Here it is. Pork lump juice. Small creatures that resemble mushrooms. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. I ran into one of these yesterday. Okay. Got it. Ten four. Um. What's next? Quests. Oh, I gotta go meet her outside the walls. What time is it? Okay. I got a good 30 minutes in me still. Um, I think she... Where is she? That's Hogsmeade. Oh, wait. Oh, I hit Hogsmeade map. Duh. I got to hit world map. Yeah, she's over here. Which I... I'm going to have to run all the way there. What is this? Okay, I need to go. Let me see. Hogwarts map. Okay, that way. I guess right here. This is the closest way? I, I don't know. I'm going to go here. Oh, I don't have any of those unlocked. All right, well, I guess I'll just run there since I... Oh, I have this gate unlocked. 
But since I don't have, I, mean, I am gonna put a waypoint there because I need to unlock that fast travel point. Other than that, we're gonna run all the way there. It's not that far. Well, we're the, to the waypoint at least. It's not that far. Oh, my roads are going to reek. Pretty far to um. You can't the quest assist. Revelio. I still haven't quite figured these out yet, to be honest. Um. Where's the other? I see this die. Where's the other die? This it? Oh, I bet maybe maybe the other die is behind this E here. Because usually there's um oh no, it's upstairs. Okay. So yeah, this is like a puzzle. I haven't honestly quite figured out exactly how these work, but I don't want to look it up. But what I think is like the middle the middle of the puzzle represents the um total number. <laughs> Excuse me. And um like the each of these uh creature symbols represents a number as well. And so like the middle one is 21. So 11 and then it has the little like uh chimera looking thing or whatever and then the question mark well, we can deduce that um, between the question mark and the chimera looking thing, that's 10. But we don't know what, how much the chimera is worth because we don't know how much the question mark is worth. And then on like the bottom one where it says 17, um, we there, we don't know like the value. I think that you, I think the values are consistent for these, but um, like the easier puzzles will show you which value is which. So like, I think this one is maybe a more advanced puzzle because you can't, I mean, you can't just look at it and get the answer right away. But I think that like, let's say, um, the top one for 21, it said 11, 5, and then the Chimera Beast. And then in the middle it said 21. Then from that we could deduce that the Chimera thing is 5 points or whatever the case is. Um, but I also believe that a question mark and two question marks also are worth a certain amount of points. I thought it was two. Actually, yeah, I think question marks are worth two. So that means the Chimera thing would be worth eight. Chimera's worth eight. Two. Two question marks. I don't know if it's worth four, honestly. Um But I don't we don't I don't think we have enough info on the bottom one to come up with it. But I believe question marks are worth two because I found I probably should write these down, but I found a puzzle earlier that was very um, simple because it was just number, number, question mark, and then the middle had a number. And so we, because that one's easy, we can figure out that the question mark was worth two. Anyway, so um, I guess I got to write those down. I really don't want to have to um, look up the values of all that stuff. I want to be able to figure it out. I really don't want to look, in si especially in single player games, I really don't like to look up too much unless I'm like really far in the game and then uh, need to, like I can't figure out a system or uh, like I can't find something, then I'll look it up. But there's no arms race, I guess, in a single player game. It's not like you have to worry about other players. They're passing you or keeping up with other players. Everything's at your own pace. Lumos. So, um, anyway, long story short, definitely gonna have to start writing down what the different symbols for the puzzles are worth. And maybe it's maybe like no, I don't think it's there's a system for it in the 
um, collection. Let me just double check. I don't think there is, though. Brooms, beasts. A. Okay. So it doesn't have a value on there. What is this? Revealio pages. Great. Oh. Interesting. Uh, wand handles. Oh, I have a new one. I only had two before. <laughs> Enemies. Tools. Okay, so it's not in there. <laughs> Just gonna have to write it down. It's no biggie. But, alright, continuing mission. I should be passing this flame thing Rebellion. on the way out. Uh, fast travel flame. Oh, I hear a ding. That means... I think the ding means a mirror is nearby. Or maybe it's just picking that up. Okay, let's go over here. Um... Lumos. Okay, Lumos doesn't do it. Let's do, um... Leviosa. Okay. I, oh, you know what? Well, actually, I don't know. I was going to say, maybe I haven't... It's a utility spell I don't know. Let me look at the other utility spells. <laughs> spell, spell, spells. Oh, wait. Spells are right D-pad. What is this? No, that's Wingardium Leviosa. Um, oh, wait. Here we go. Accio... Force. I don't think it'd be force. Descendo, no. But no. What is this? Control. Uh. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. It's something. Rebellion. Um. Isn't Sebastian Salo's family from Incendio? Incendio? Oh, Incendio! There we go. Hey, oh, nailed it. Okay, that worked out. We. Yeah, that's it's neat that they have all these little um, collection pages in the throughout the the world, um, and you have to do different interactions with them different spells do different um things oh here we go and sometimes revelio just gives you the collection but then other times you have to use um leviosa or accio or Reparo. so okay i'm not gonna explore too much i'm gonna continue uh i have a feeling there we go i was like i saw something move over there so i thought <laughs> that maybe Revelio would uh, give us something there. So, and it did. Okay. 500 meters, whoo, man. He's making me hoof it. Revelio. Oh, fast travel point, let's go. I don't want to spend too much time um, stopping to do Revelio. That's the only thing I don't like is you have to stop moving when you cast Revelio. Um, and it's on the left D-pad, and so I have to do this weird thing where I have like <laughs> this like a claw going on to do Revelio. It's hilarious. Revelio. Uh, okay. We haven't learned any sort of, um, lock picking yet, but, uh, it's definitely on the spell tree. I mean, there's lock locks everywhere, so you would assume that, um, you're gonna find it. Also, okay. Revelio, though, um, if you do pick up on something, it does stay for a while. As far as, um, when I mean stay, stays, like the silhouette stays in the background for a little bit. 
Oh, you know what? Hang on a sec. Let me try something real quick. Let me see if I have like these custom buttons on the back of this controller. Let me see if I can map. Um, if it'll let me map it. Ah, darn it. Um. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, well. I don't see any mapping. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Uh, Revelio, Revelio, Revelio. Let me see if it'll let me map it. Darn it. I tried. Revelio. It would make it so much easier. Actually, let me look up real quick on this controller how to um to do the custom mapping real quick. Okay, let me go out of there so that you are not stuck in that screen. But yeah, let me um because this controller has like a program thing. I've never messed with it though. Uh it's just like a it's not fancy, it's a wired only uh Xbox certified controller by power a um but the reason that i bought it was my actual xbox controller was starting to have issues and i i've had it for like two two and a half years and i play on it like basically every day um two advanced gaming buttons for on the fly button mapping okay i need to figure out how to do that Advanced gaming buttons. Because I threw... Oh, here we go. User manual. Trigger locks. Gosh. Um... Advanced gaming buttons... Assigning advanced gaming buttons. Press and hold the program button for two to three seconds on the back of the controller. The program LED indicator will start flashing, signaling the controller is ready or is in assignment mode. Press one of the following buttons to reassign. Press one of the following buttons to reassign, then press the advanced gaming button that you wish to assign. The program LED indicator will stop flashing, signaling the advanced gaming button has been set. Repeat for the remaining button. No, advanced gaming button assignments will remain in memory even after disconnecting. Oh, shit. Resetting buttons. Hold the program down for two to three seconds. Press and hold the assigned button to reset. Okay. Let's, I'm going to try it. Okay, so press and hold for two to three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, left D-pad, left button. All right, let's try it. Rebellion. There it goes. And I wonder if it still, let's see if it still works. It does. Oh, let's go. So now I mapped it, Revelio to that button. So I don't have to constantly move my finger. It's, it's actually way easier now. Holy smokes. Hang on, I gotta text, text Chesty real quick. I love this. This controller is like 38 bucks. This thing's awesome. <laughs> um, let me text Chesty real quick. Hey, you know what? I, I thank this game for um, making, like, basically forcing me to do that because I was really getting tired of pressing the left D-pad. Uh, and I was, <laughs> I never took the time to read the user user manual. And 
I always said, oh man, I need to read that user manual so that I can learn how to do the custom button mapping. But it was never super prudent until now. But also, why is this underground? I don't know if it's supposed to be underground. There must be a dungeon or cave there. Rebellion. Uh, is the only thing I can think of. Accio. Accio doesn't work. What about Levioso? Levioso. Okay, I'm just going to assume there's a cave because I don't feel like the resources randomly spawn unless they do and it just spawned under the mesh, but that would be kind of weird. Rebellion. Now I just got to get used to pushing the um, that advanced button on the back for Revelio. Leaping toadstool caps. More leaping toadstool caps. Got caught on geometry right there. Leaping, leaping. Oh, Chesty texted me back. She was like, uh, maybe putting the block button on one of those back advanced buttons would be good too. May I don't I don't think I, I, I like I don't mind it on triangle honestly. Uh which is the this button here. Uh Protego. Uh, it's like basically a, a core staple of combat in this game um, to parry, basically, I would say. Rebellion. Uh, but also it allows you to cast Stupefy. And that's the other thing I like about this game is that um, like the combat system is very intentional and it's not like you're not waiting on mana to cast spells like there's no mana in the game it's like you have your basic spell that you can spam like your basic damage spell then you have your utility spells that have a cooldown um and as you do combos by comboing utility spells your and other damage spells um the bigger the combo you build up your ancient magic Rebellion. and then the ancient magic does devastating damage um, so it's like a very, it's like a build-up combo system. And then you have, uh, blocking, parrying, re reposty, which is like where you block and then you counterattack. Um, and then dodging. And all those things have their own place. See, okay, so yeah, see the ball there? This is a Leviosa. Leviosa. Or Levioso. Um, for that collection. Okay, let's go back down. Super dark out right now. Um, but not, it's not like too bad to where I can't see, but it's definitely dark. Oh, you can't, okay. Can't cast uh, Revelio while you're on a ladder. So we learned that. Makes sense, though, that you wouldn't be able to cast while on a ladder. Lumos. Also, this is, I, I love having Loomis on my hot bar. It's like a nice little RP spell when it's dark out. But by the way, if you uh, are on the fence about getting this game, this game is outstanding so far. Very impressed. A very cohesive storyline so far and um, I'm not like a story. I, I really am not a story game person. I'm a gameplay person. So for me to sit through and watch the, the story is like kind of a big deal. Okay, so I guess, hang on a sec. Okay, yeah, well, I have uh, Lumos up. I can't use my, um, my uh, mission tracker guy that comes out of my book. So that's cool. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Yeah, so far, pretty impressed. Uh, there aren't too many things that I'm terribly um, thinking 
need to be optimized in terms of gameplay. I mean, there are things that pop up, and I'm sure that community feedback, there will be changes to make things more cohesive. Like one thing that I want is if I open my map, I know that it has the quest marker here. Like this is showing me this is my current quest. But um, what I'd like is like to be able to see like a quest log in this map screen because there's certain quests that the quest has multiple things you have to do. Um, and it doesn't let you track one. If, it, if there's multiple items on the quest, uh, like a fetch quest or something, then it does not let you track a specific item. And so, like, I have to look I've at the quest log. And it's like, go to bad. Barnaby's Square in this location. And then I look at the location, and there's, like, ten different places to go to. And I'm like, oh, okay... Barnaby Square. I know, like, I know that it was Barnaby Square, but now that I'm in the map and trying to find it, I'm like, okay, I forgot what it was called. So having that in the map would be super helpful. Um, as far as performance, yes, they're on PC. I'm sure it's more optimized on PlayStation 5. Because um, this definitely seems like it was like a play, uh, console optimized game. Um, but well, I say PlayStation 5, it's on Xbox as well, but um, there are definitely a few issues I've run into. Uh, nothing terribly bad. Um, Rebellion. Lumos. I even with uh, G-Sync on, I am st I still get frame tearing, so I have to turn V-Sync on, which is fine. I don't mind try I don't mind using V-Sync, but on games that are like performance heavy, when you use V-Sync, depending depending on the buffering uh interval, it can drastically oh, drop your frame rate all... um during those frame dips. So that's the only reason that if, it, if this was like a Lumos. 120 FPS ray tracing all the time game, then I really wouldn't care. <clears throat> but with ray tracing on, you can't push 120 uh, without like seriously degrading your resolution. So it floats around. It floats a little bit above 60, but anytime it drops below 60, then V-Sync is going to... Uh, I don't... I, I'm trying to figure out what the deal. Oh, okay. They, they. Oh, I thought maybe they came when I. I, I don't know what was up the fireflies. Anyway, but uh, yeah, VSync. Um, if you drop below the the uh, FPS lock for the VSync, then that's where it starts to cut the frame rate, depending on the buffering amount. Um, and so it could be like with just standard VSync, it would go down to the nearest uh whole value for the frame rate and then if you have double buffering it's like half value gear slots are full half value and then if you have triple buffering etc cetera, etc cetera. okay let me um look at my inventory here and see what's going on oh wait no, it's not inventory it's gear slots but okay gear slots handwear neckwear i wish that there was like a like where I could see everything and I don't have to go in here. Okay, so this, okay, 20 out of 20 right now. See, like, well, I can't, let me see. Yeah, there's no like quick change. If I RB or LB, it goes to um, inventory and I can't select these, so. All right, Um, right, I'm gonna toss that I am going to toss that Oh, I'm still not high enough level to have that. Nice. Uh 
me make sure I have the best stuff on. Okay. That's two things. Let me make one more space. I believe this is another. Yeah. Okay. Grab this guy out of here. Oh, and the gloves turned out to be less. But I want to sell them for, for gold, so it's not a big deal. Brown Keeper's Tools. Okay, uh, let me change my style real quick. That's a thing. Yeah, and any... So, like, it doesn't matter what your gear is. You can change the appearance of it to anything you've already collected. Do that. Uh, I'm not too keen on the on the glasses. Let me. I'll do that for now. I'm gonna switch this out to nothing because I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go hood when I uh, switch my robes here. Oh, there's no hood for these robes for that. That's I like that. That's cool. Go with this cape for now. Oh, that must be the one I just got. Yeah, that's the thing I just got. Okay. Change the outfit appearance. Need something that kind of fits this cape well. Oh, I think that's good. Let's see what this looks like. Huh? Actually, this is kind of regal looking. I'm going to go with this. It's kind of funny looking, but um, I, f I think it fits well. And let me see what this is real quick. Oh, that's so nice. That's the, uh, I think that's one of the pre-order bonuses. Yeah, Dark Arts Ensemble. Okay, let's do that. And then there's no hood on, on this because it's a cape. So we'll just keep it like this. This is, this is good. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, leveled up. Which means, I think, <laughs> I know that we just did this, but I think that my... I have a piece of gear I can put on now. Was it eyewear? Yeah. I can put these on. The only thing is, like, now I have to rechange my appearance back. I wonder if there's a way to lock your appearance. Like, that would be nice. I, if I put on a new piece of gear, I want to maintain this appearance. If it's not in the game and I haven't figured it out, they need to add that. Because every time I put on a new gear, I don't want to have to reset my appearance. But, okay. <clears throat> Rebellion. Anything. Okay, let's, uh, Charlie Mike, continue mission. It's Lumos. Fireflies. Oh, mushrooms. Pit stop. Gotta get those. And we made it to the fast travel. It's like a place right out of the story. Book. Okay, I need to use the restroom really quickly. I'll be right back. I'll leave my snuggie here with you.
I'm back. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Put my Snuggie back on. Because I'm chilly. Oh, yeah. All right, we are going to um, finish this quest. Or we'll, we're going to start the quest, finish the quest. And then after that, I'll take a short break so that I can pull out the stationary bike. And we're going to switch over to uh, stationary bike and gaming after that. All right. Quest. So nice to see you, my young friend. Drink a little monster. It is good to see you, my friend. I like Natty. She's cool. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Hmm. I feel like I can trust her. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. I did. And Serona was intimidated wrong. one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be yeah, God. so something I noticed. Um, it's not a big deal, but I'm going to um, be here. Let me change. Luckily, they let you change your um, voice pitch. And, oh, man, it doesn't give you a test of it. I noticed they use modulation. Um, so it's the same voice actor. They just modulate the pitch of it. And uh, since I put it lower... The low end is really... That's not too bad. The low end is really low, and it's like, with my uh, surround sound, it's like shaking the house. Not not literally, but uh, it's just very low with the modulation. So I'm just going to go... I went to the middle. I'm guessing the middle is probably like the native thing where it's not modulating the voice. Um, so we're going to go with that for now. Okay. I got to help a stranger. Lumos. We don't need that, but it's fun. I like to cast it. It's my little friend. Oh, it was a side quest. Okay. I don't really want to get into side quests right now. I really, what I wanted to do today, honestly, um, was 
kind of grind through the main story until I got to the point where I unlocked the broom. And then I would slow down and um, start doing more side stuff and exploring. Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be safe. <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Oh snap, about to whoop that ass. Watch this. Incendio! I'm a god. Oh snap. Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? The collections section of your field guide, enemy type, you may learn a valuable insight in the enemy, such as their weakness to certain spells. Got it. Oh! Whoops, did the wrong thing. Definitely gonna incendio. Let's do a little ancient magic. Incendio hits hard. If when you do Accio into Incendio, it's like curtains. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Indeed, you should. Who's you Priya? Someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought Merlin was a myth. Nah, what? Come on. We know Merlin's not a myth. Tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Fascinating indeed. <laughs> I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. 
Take Mother plenty. That's only five. On these pillars, <clears throat> as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious. Man, the particle effects in this game are next level. Solve Merlin's trial. Okay. Revelio. Revelio. Uh, I'm assuming I just have to light these two thingies here. Incendio. The flames make the pyre sing. Come on. That's the best you got. Ooh, pretty. Hey, it's Merlin. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Revelio. I take it we can I made her day. Success. We can How gorgeous indeed. is this game However, though? I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my Man, research. This my game guess is... is that each will also require I really like this game. Which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. That's right, you will. All right, um, I am going to switch over. Let's do a hard save here. I need to switch. I got to go pull the stationary bike out so I can get some biking in for the day. I can't sit here and just play this all day without uh, getting some sort of exercise in, get my heart rate going, get the blood pumping. So I got to do that. Reveal <clears throat> secrets. I gotta get that all set up. Um Yeah. So I will see you back here in I would say 10 to 15 minutes. I gotta pull the bike in, I gotta switch some stuff up on the stream and then relaunch it, but uh it shouldn't take too long. Plus I gotta change my clothes a little bit. I'm still in pajamas and uh we don't wanna wear those, but all right. Appreciate you joining and see you back in about 15 minutes. Reveal.